them silently, those eight that are no longer with us. Just, just a minute. You'll find their obituaries, and, and I hope that it brings you up to date with them. And know that Delwyn Brown will be included, uh, you, you'll get that as an additional mailing. So, that leaves a, leaves a tiny little opening. If you haven't gotten that, that that letter written, that little bit of uh, history, you've got a moment, and uh, uh, get it to us, and we'll include it in the next minute. Daryl, okay. hey, excuse me, Daryl, told you you were thinking about it. <laughs> I'll be right up, Daryl. Good one, Jerry Cross. It's so long. You bet. Okay, Are you going to be fact-checked? There is no, there's no spell check, and I want you to know, uh, you will challenge me on the secretary for the class, if you would like. And I said, well, that's real nice, Tom, but uh, and I'm saying to myself, thanks, Tom, and I'll tell that everybody that, but I don't know how important that is until he started doing it. Do you know what kind of response you do if you participate? It was marvelous. And as I think Judy Blood Peterson said, who's not here tonight, we have had a mini reunion on the email. It's all to Tom's credit, who brokered the thing, and it's marvelous, and no... So many of you have said, keep it going. Let's don't let that thing go. And email addresses will also be offered. And in that packet, you have written addresses on every side. Carl or Ryan, we're going to perfect yours because it is very good. Lois, uh, uh, excuse me, uh, Glenda, uh, Glenda, Glenda Stusman Powell told me her letter gets there in a month. Carl told me his gets there in three months. So we got to do something about the addresses we've got, but we'll do it. Anyway, Tom Fryer, what a great idea, what a wonderful, wonderful response it's been. Open my eyes. Stand up, introduce themselves, and if you got uh, if you want a minute, if you want thirty seconds, if you want six minutes, tell us a little bit, but just say hi and tell us who you are and where you are where you are. Well, Frank, you're starting off. <laughs> Ron Frank, uh, I live in Fort Collins. I want to, most of you know my wife, Shirley. She was class of 58. And Cody, she said she'd must, much rather be a class of 58 of Powell. So. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Larry Larson, Seattle, Washington. Hey! Hey! There is a man a few words. I got his letter. <laughs> <laughs> he said, okay, Bonner, I'll be there. 
<laughs> That's more than I said. Stan Smith, uh, Odessa, Texas. My wife, Rita. Smith. <laughs> Nancy Burke, Cody. This is my husband, Dick. We live in Olympia, Washington. Olympia. My husband's retired. I'm semi-retired. <laughs> and right. champion golfer in the tournament. <laughs> Bert Kendall. This is my wife, Gail. She's been my nursemaid, my keeper. Uh, you can't really say enough good about her. <laughs> We're in Branson, Missouri, so any of you ever get there? 45th oh, right. down there. <laughs> What's your phone number? We're in the directory. We're in the directory. Yeah, but I couldn't keep it out. Joyce Carey and I live in Billings. Right, Ken Sachs and I made it all the way to Cody too. All right. Here we go, Ken. Gerald Caravo, Colorado Springs, here down that way. Stop him, give me a call. All right. I'm Ray Einstein, Kempe, Arizona. And just when they mentioned Delwin, I worked in the oil field with him. And somebody could jump straight up eight feet when they're standing on top of a rattlesnake. I just remember Dell when he was fun to work with out there. But I remember sitting on the side of gas line once and water could <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem. The rattlesnake was sitting there hitting him on the foot and he was standing on it couldn't hear it. So <laughs> <laughs> I know somebody that could have clicked it. <laughs> it would have been a close second. <laughs> Tom Barber, uh, I live in Bend, Oregon. I'm just retired. Out there where you this is my wife, Barbara, and she's a Kodiak. Where are you going, Tom? I'm Jerry Krause. Uh, this is my wife, Judy. We live in Denver. I worked for United Airlines for many years, and now I'm through. <laughs> Tom Fryer. This is my wife, Angie. We live in Manhattan, Kansas. Somebody's got to mention kids and grandkids. We, we do have a son. We have a daughter. And uh, had our first grandson born in uh, Thanksgiving. And also we have a fan of classmate. Actually, he's an honorary member of the class of 58. But my brother-in-law, Ron Henley, and his wife, Kathy, from uh, Derby, Kansas, down by Wichita. <laughs> We live in Powell. <laughs> <laughs> We've got three kids and three grandchildren. Let's go. Hey, where at, Don? Where? Elder Ridge. Okay, thank you. Where to go, Don? I own Sullivan Roby. This is my husband, Harry. We live in Cody. We didn't get very far either. <laughs> <laughs> Where to go, Don? Um? Rainy Sidwell, and there actually is a Mr. Sidwell. I own doesn't believe it. We've been married for 30 years, and she's seen him once. So she swears I rent him out. <laughs> uh, I live in Omaha, well, just south of Omaha, Nebraska. I have three boys and two grandkids. <laughs> In 91, I decided that I had, after 30 years of nursing, was enough. So I'm enjoying it. I'm Carol Willie, and uh, we live in Minneapolis, Minnesota. We have three children. One, our oldest daughter just graduated from college, so we've got a young set of kids. It's just good to see you. Okay, Carol. Here we go. Hurry up, Al. 
Alberta. I'm Alberta Storm. <laughs> was really intended to be here. He paid his money and he called me last night. He could not get here at the last minute. He said, you call Coach Hand. I want him to go because I paid the money and I want him there as my special guest. Yeah. Yeah. Four children, 
Where are you going? You can't go, and yeah, I returned towel and yeah. um, I don't know. Yeah. 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 I'm just so impressed that all of you came back and shared your time with the ones that live here. It's really our pleasure to host this tonight. This is my husband's talk. I'm Larry Moore. Uh, that's Brooke. Everybody's seen her. She's a little bossy. <laughs> I live in just north of New York City, uh, up by West Point. I've been a nurse for 20-some years, taught before that, uh, and I'm still going to school now in nursing. So I can't retire. I don't want to. I've been a prison nurse for 20-some years, and like I tell them there, I'm doing natural life in prison. <laughs>
Gambit, Coast to Coast, Charlie's Meat Market, Carlos's Grocery, Longley Temple to Lumber, Carfiva Hardware, J.C. Penny, Eddie's Shoe Store, Day's Furniture, Bonner's Variety Store, Elder's Hardware. In their place there are many new stores. We are proud of our community and its progressive development. From the look of our downtown, including the recently completed Commons facility, to the many new businesses and residential areas. We who live in Powell are proud of these accomplishments. We hope that those of you from out of town have an opportunity to see these changes and are as pleased with Powell's progress as we are. It is our sincere wish that you have a wonderful evening and enjoy the alumni festivities. Thank you.
We'd certainly want to thank the Alumni Association for all their hard work. We certainly appreciate it. Some of us are still buying green bananas, and we're looking forward to our next reunion. <laughs> For starters, my name is not Dave Bonner. <laughs> His son Toby's behind me. I told him he ought to do double duty tonight. My name is Tom Fryer. I'm very honored to represent our class. We graduated uh, 99 classmates. We were hoping to be the first class to break 100, but uh, the succeeding class has that uh, distinction. We had a great gathering last night. It was in our unbiased opinion that we were probably one of the best classes to graduate. <laughs> stronger adjective, but I didn't want to alienate the other class. Uh, thank heavens Beth was in our class because we had to get together Beth and Paul Rodriguez. For those that have never had a pitchfork steak, you've missed something. We truly had a great time last night. Uh, 47 members of our class had signed up. I'm not totally sure if all 47 came. Uh, eight deceased members of our class. So we've, the majority was, was present or accounted for, and we just have had really a, a great time, and, and great time this morning, too. So. Again, it's just been a wonderful time to see some people that I haven't seen in a long time. So, and uh, I guess one other thought I would share. We live in uh, Manhattan. Maybe that's my cue to get off. So. <laughs> we live in Manhattan, Kansas, but this morning at breakfast, I think the five or six of us who were there from different states. No, no, there's very, I, I say no, there's very few other high schools that have something like this. And I really think it makes it all a uh, very unique community. Thank you very much.
we did have a good time. We had another gathering today for the families at uh, Worston Park. I think that showed that uh, maybe we found out what is important in our lives because we sure had a good crop of kids there today. <laughs> we had a good time and uh, we don't have a very good turnout here tonight. As you get into the 70s, I guess the uh, attendance this banquet doesn't have a priority to tell you or gone long enough to uh, realize that you won't be here forever. But we had a good time and we're looking forward to uh, 25 and 30. Thank you. For some reason, we were picked to uh, represent the class of 58 and 88. Uh, we had a class of around 140 people, and 50 of us showed up last night. Uh, we went down to the uh, Eagles and uh, ate some ch chicken, we drank some beer, and uh, talked about old times. Uh, had a pretty good time. Uh, let's see. Uh, I guess a lot of a lot of the talk was uh, around our senior year and uh, the great success we had in athletics. Uh, we won three state championships that year in one week, which was a national record. And then uh, also we won five state championships that, that school year, which uh, tied another record, and we were pretty, pretty proud of that. And it was kind of fun to, to go back and talk about state football championship and girls volleyball and track. It was pretty fun. Okay. Uh, last night at the Eagles, we, we uh, rekindled some old friendships. Uh, discovered that uh, many of us kids uh, could actually grow up and become responsible, have some families. Um, uh, we also pay respects to our four classmates that are no longer with us, uh, Lars Bly, Brett Beavers, Daryl Flores, and Wayne Mill. Uh, people have moved away since graduation and looking for a place to, uh, to call their home, but uh, I think many of them now are looking to come back to town. Uh, looking for the life that they had here before they left. It's a great place to live. Um, we had a great time this year at the alumni. Hope it continues tonight. Uh, everybody have a good time. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 